we're live we're on the move as you can see we're in the car well we're in the loner car those of you that uh know the situation with my car and everything man but it's all good man we out here motivating the world today man we got a smile on our face today man only thing that we can control today man can't control tomorrow can't control yesterday definitely can't do nothing about yesterday let's go ahead and start right there yesterday and way behind can't control that we can control the future though how we feel about the future what plans we're making staying motivated got to stay motivated man got to tap into motivating resources you know what's going on big chief man i'm out here on the road i'm out here on the road man i was just in such a good mood man i said you know what we got to spread some positivity today, man. We got to spread some motivation today. We have to do that. You know, I, I can't just sit and, and keep it to myself. You know what I'm saying? I think that kind of stuff is, is infectious, man. You start talking about it. L Boogie, what's going on? You start, you start speaking in a positive light, in a positive manner, and people hear those words, man. You never know who needs to hear something positive like right now. You know, I could have said, well, I'm going to wait till tonight. That's what I was originally saying. I'm going to wait till tonight. I'll, I'll do it later. Now, nah, nah, we're not going to do later what we can do right now. So I said, let me get on here and speak to the people right now and just say, hey, man, you're important. You know, people need you. People are counting on you. And we all go through stuff, man. We all do. But you know, we all have an opportunity to do because we're still here. We got an opportunity to make it better and we have an opportunity to believe that it's going to get better especially those things that are out of our control things that are out of our control man and we know those things are out of our control man you know certain things we can't control you know like i'm 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 driving right now so i won't be able to see a lot of comments but um you know i can't control what other cars are doing you know so there's no need for me to get into a road rage situation because you know somebody might have cut me off whether it's on purpose or accident, I can't control them, but I can control how I react, you know, to them, you know, cause I can control me. You know, I, I don't I don't have the right to say, well, I couldn't help myself. Yes, I could help myself. I could help myself. So I can't control other people. So those things that are, that are not in our hands that we can't control, that we internalize, man, and I'm um, speaking for myself, you end up having a stomach ulcer because you're so worried about a particular situation or you, you're worried about um, friends and family, you know, and, and, and we got we have big hearts. So this I'm talking about a person that, that care is a caring person. But sometimes you can care absolutely too much and you internalize it, man. So we got to make sure that we're healthy, okay? So we're not going to internalize um, whatever is going on today, man. That's what we're not going to do. Today, we're gonna, this, this, this is a skill. We learn a skill, man. Today, I will not internalize things that I cannot control. You know what I mean? That's what we're going to do today. We're not going to internalize things that we cannot control. Because we're going to be healthy. Because that person needs you, right? Let's say you're worried about a person, whether they uh, physical health, mental health, financial health you know whatever you, you're concerned about that family member or that friend all the worrying in the world is not going to change the situation it's not it's not man so let's not do that let's not internalize it, man because i need y'all healthy happy and whole think about that happy healthy and whole people man can help other people happy healthy and whole people can help other people if you're not happy, healthy, and whole, it's gonna be awfully difficult for you to help somebody. Make your hair turn gray. Yeah, look, make your hair turn gray, you know, or, or lose some hair. You know what I'm saying? So don't even worry about it. Because how many times, and you don't have to answer this on the chat or nothing like that, man, but just say it to yourself. How many times have you been over backwards for people? Lost hair, hair turned gray, lost money, trying to help somebody. And then at the end of the day, they ain't appreciate it. Come on now. I know you got at least one example. I know you have at least one example of you been over backwards with people because you're a caring person. You been over backwards. You went the extra mile physically, mentally, and financially. 
and they turned right around and didn't appreciate it. Oh, now it makes sense what I just said. Now it makes sense what I just said to not internalize whatever that thing is that's bothering you right now. Don't internalize that thing that's like dominating your thoughts throughout the day, man. That's negative. Because you, me, we and she and he, we can't control it, man. Can't. We can't. Can't control it. The things that we can control, we're going to control. And if we talk about finances, we can control our budget. We can. We can. We can, you know, work and and make moves to, to pretty much determine how much money is going to come in. You know what I'm saying? Based on, you know, our, you know, the work that's available, based on, you know, creative ideas, based on, you know, multiple streams of income that you've created. You know, we can control that. Can we control layoffs? No. But can we control having a couple months of savings in, the, in an account just in case the weather turns and there is a storm? Yeah, we can control that. You know, can we not go crazy over Christmas or somebody's birthday, you know, or Valentine's Day? Can we not break the bank on all those things? Yeah, we can control that. Of course we can. Yeah, we can control that. We're focusing on controlling the things that we can control, man. And believe it or not, man, when you when you get better control of all those different areas of your life, man, you'll be happy, healthy, and whole, man. And and you'll you'll stay motivated because you'll live a motivating life, man. Your your own life story will motivate you. Cause a lot of times when I'm telling my part, parts of my life story, man, I get motivated and I know the whole story. I know the whole story, but I get motivated when I think about, man, I remember what the ground feels like, man, with shoes on. I remember what the ground feels like with shoes on. I've never forgot that feeling. I know what it feels like to be hungry, not hungry. You haven't eaten lunch yet or you forgot to eat breakfast this morning or you've been procrastinating on eating dinner. Hungry when there's no food in sight. Hungry when you know you're not going to eat before bed and you know you're not gonna have anything to eat in the morning. I have not forgotten what that feels like, period, hands down. So I get motivated, man, when I think that I came from that and to be where I'm at now and to have a good understanding of where I'm going, man, that's motivating. Hey, thank you, Lefty. Again, I'm, I'm out here driving, so, man, I ain't really looking at the at the screen, man. So I appreciate y'all, man, smashing that like button. And if you're watching this on a replay, maybe you found this because of the title, How to Stay Motivated, man. When I tell you, your own life story can motivate you, should. And if it don't now, it will, because the story is still being written. Your story is still being written, man. So I don't care what it look like right now. I Trust me. I've, been, I, I've had plenty of dark days. And we all, you know, we always have you know, ups and downs throughout. But how do you get up? How do you bounce back? Don't you, don't you love a good comeback story? I don't care if it's in real life or you're watching a movie, right? Or if you're watching Rocky. Like, you, you, you've already, if you've ever seen Rocky, you already know how to move the end, right? But you'll go watch Rocky right now because you'll see him get knocked down. You'll see him want to quit. You know, you'll see him having problems at home, but then you'll see that Joker man start the training montage and the music kick in and he's running and he's lifting weights and he's sparring. And man, you, you can already see the championship belt around his waist, man. That's how you gotta see yourself in life, man. You gotta you gotta go ahead and envision, visualize yourself with that championship belt on, man. Visualize yourself, look, with the crown on. You a king. You a queen, man. Go ahead and put it on. Go ahead and buy you a crown. They got them, they got them on Amazon all day, every day. You, or you probably can go to your local party city store and buy you something for five dollars or something, man. Put the crown on and look in the mirror, man. Take a picture and keep it in your phone. Make it your screensaver. Man, you a king. You a queen. You a winner. You know what I'm saying? 
Hey, I see you in here, real New York, man. I'm out here on the road. Um, I'm just trying to make the best use of my time and not procrastinating, not delaying stuff. And I was sitting here like, man, how do you say motivated, Eric? Man, my story motivates me, man. My personal story motivates me. And there are so many other people that I that I subscribe to in life, not just on YouTube, that motivating story, man. So I can watch their story. And man, some people have come out of some amazing, crazy situations, man. Amazing, crazy situations, man. Man, I left it. I wish I could see that, man. I'm gonna have to catch it on the replay, the uh, the comments and everything, and I will go back and watch the comments on the replay. I'm just out here on the road, man, just trying to, um, you know, fill in the time like I said I was going to do. I said I was going to go extra. Talking to New York, New York and talking to TJ Me and that mentor, Demonology, um, even talking to um, Swaps and stuff and, and Silverback. And, and just some real folk that I've met for these people, man. It's like, D, man, I, I love that Uwe and I love that. But anyway, you know, I love that. I'm, 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 I got to throw that in my video somewhere. In, in a future video, um, I have to do that. I, I have to throw, but anyway, man, and I got to throw Uwe in there some kind of way. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. You know, maybe I'll just take a clip of, of Zay from his uh, YouTube channel saying Uwe and, but anyway, man, you know, maybe maybe I just just do a straight clip so folk will know who it is when when they hear it. But I I love that man. And we talk about motivation and that kind of stuff motivate me, man. And last night, man, somebody I don't know who brought it to my attention. I think it was Auto Bees. Somebody I think it was Auto Bees that was like, man, he he was like, everybody went live. Like, and there were multiple lives at the same time, and we were still supporting each other. It wasn't like oh. One person live, we, we just gonna we just gonna go there and stay there. Man, folk was um, matter of fact, Rubik's was in my live. He was in Zay T R D live, and then we knew New York had a live coming up. And I was like, yo, I had another, I had a live coming up for my um, what you call it, um, me taking over the uh, Daily Grind family channel. So I had a live set up for that that was already set. But man, it was dope, man. It was just like live to live to live to live man just a bunch of folk supporting each other just crazy and when i and when i heard el boogie said i was jumping room to room yeah man i, I just thought that was dope man like it's dope because believe you me somewhere in the world that you would have people that would be like oh well i'm not going to his live i'm not going to his live why is he live at the same time as me come on man we all got different schedules man we all doing different things and we all support each other, man. And I, and I love it, man. And last night was a perfect example. Multiple lives going on, and we were in multiple lives, man. Because even when I was um, in New York live, I was on my boy, uh, no, no Limit Eddie. He was on, he was live too. And I'm gonna tell you something cool about uh, No Limit Eddie, man. Um, you know, he's a newly monetized channel, man. And um, it was dope, man, to see. Um, and he does a lot of um, on the ground, in LA, we have a homelessness issue. What should we do? And he shows a side of LA that I don't see on the news. Cause again, I went to LA in July and I never saw any of that stuff on the news. And some of those people need help and some of those people want help. And Eddie is on the ground, man. You know, showing you that perspective of what it looks like, what you don't see on the news. And it was dope to, to see that uh, a lot of people was dropping them super chats, man. Cause because it's not free to move about the country. Y'all know that, right? It's not free to get in your car and go somewhere. It's not free to fly to another state. You know, your cell phone that you're using for your YouTube channel is not free. You know, so when folk give super chats, when folk donate to your, your cash apps, your PayPal links that you might have um, in your videos, man, it's going somewhere. It's going somewhere, so it was dope to see uh, Eddie get the super chats and stuff last night, man. I, I, I just love to see people out here winning, man. And I, I really hope y'all uh, lock in with me on the uh, Daily Grind family channel. Again, my, 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 my bro, Josh, started that channel. channel, And, you know, he's laser locked in, man, to um, his new business, 
uh, that he has with a business partner, man. So he's all the way locked in. And he doesn't have the time to uh, grow the channel. So uh, he, he chose me, man, to um, put some stuff on his platform, man. So I'm with it. New York already e with you. Hey, for sure, man. For sure, man. I see my boy Shane up in here. My boy Shane is up in here. And some of y'all know, or maybe some of y'all don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how many people are always, you know, tuned into what I'm what I'm doing. But um, I have a consulting firm, and every Monday and Wednesday, um, I leave out my house in the morning and I go and do consulting for a few hours on Monday and Wednesday. Again, you know, I was uh, God is God opened up so many doors, and I was able to uh, quit. Um, my hundred thousand dollar job, man, um, on base with the military, um, August fifteenth. You know, I was able to quit and do my own thing, and man, and it's it's just a blessing. So I'm out today. You know, today's Wednesday, so I'm out and about on Monday and Wednesday. It's only two days a week that I'm out and about. You know, doing consulting, and that's one of the streams of income that I've been able to create. Ooh wee, yeah, Robel, what's going on? See you, Robel. I'm out here on the road, man. I'm out here on the road. It's not. It's not as cold. We 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 at 51 degrees today. 51 degrees. But I don't even think it really feel like 51. If if it, it, it felt like about 55 when I was outside. You know, we had the sun. The sun is up. So it felt like 55. But it's it's saying 51. And we're still in the loaner car. We're in the BMW uh, 330i loaner car. But uh, and that saying when I say loaner car, it makes me think about my car. It's 38 degrees over here. Low, good low, as as demonology would say, good low. Yeah, but I gotta keep myself motivated, man. I I did get a text message from dealership today, and they said uh, they pretty much confirmed that the battery, the big battery, um, that I mentioned on you know previous video, um, should be in today. So uh, which means I'm sure they're not gonna work on it today. Um, I believe that means they're gonna work on it tomorrow. And I mentioned on the video yesterday that, you know, I spoke with the BMW i team. That's with their, um, if y'all know about BMW, you got BMW i, like they're in charge of all of your i cars, you know, at a high level. So once they, the local dealership says, hey, Mr. Stevenson, your car is ready. The first thing I'm supposed to do is call the BMW i team and then let them contact the dealership and say, hey, this, this, this is what You know to wrap up mr stevenson you know what i mean i, I think most common people would say that 14 weeks is way too long and probably next week so yeah something something should be done i mean something if you're not doing anything that's saying a whole lot man when you can't do anything and i'm i'm confident I'm just gonna say I'm confident they're gonna do something. So we'll we'll remain optimistic that they're gonna do something. Alright. But I'm staying motivated, man. I, don't know. I miss my eye. But what I have been doing, and if y'all check my last vlog, you know, it was it was a a vlog vlog. It wasn't a car review, it was a vlog. Me going out and we went out and um did a little bit of furniture shopping, man. So you know, I'm, I'm going to start adding more vlog type stuff along with the cars. Because if I'm going somewhere, generally, I'm in a car, right? Yeah. So, I'm in the car. And I'm just looking forward to doing more vlog type stuff, man, to let y'all know who I am. So, maybe even as I go out and do some consulting, you know, to maybe get some of that footage and, and kind of just let you see what I'm doing, man. Because, you know, E-Vapors, that's me, man. That's the, that's the channel, E-Vapors. And I, I just look forward to uh, sharing more. That's what I want to do. You know, share more on this channel. And on the Daily Grind Family channel, that's where we're really going to lock in more on entrepreneur type stuff. I'm going to interview, you know, different business owners. Like I said, one of my friends, uh, well, he has several businesses, but he owns a, a Cold Stone Creamery. Y'all heard of that franchise before Cold Stone. And, um, he and his wife, they both they, they both own a Cold Stone, man. I think it'd be cool because maybe there's somebody out there that wants to get into franchising. You know, maybe there's a franchise that you're looking at. And, you know, why not interview somebody that is actually doing it? So, of course, you know, I'm going to go to their Cold Stone 
and and do that interview, man. I think it'll be real dope. I think it'll be real cool to uh to do it that way. You know, and we're gonna we're gonna incorporate every, all the tools that we have at our disposal. Yeah, Cold Stone Creamery, man. And they big time now. They they're big time and it costs money to open up those type of franchises. And they also do real estate, you know, so they have their own real estate company and property management company and, and they flip homes as well. And you know, I also have a, a good friend of mine and uh, some of y'all might know him via from YouTube, uh Chess Homes. So Chess Holmes, he's another entrepreneur. And he actually bought the house across the street from y'all know Rick Ross, Ricky Rose across the street from his uh property he bought a house across the street and um he's renovating it, he's flipping it so um i'm looking forward to um seeing how that works out and i'm looking forward to working with him on some flips making some money with my friend on some flips why not so i look forward to bringing all that to the daily grind family channel man but here on the e-vapors channel man we're gonna vlog Man, we're gonna bring y'all car content. We're gonna keep y'all up to date, good and bad. You know, on the I-8 and on any other car that we add to the garage. And we've we've already, you know, made the deposit down on the Monte Carlo. I almost said the color, because that, that's how I refer to it when I'm talking about it. Because there are two Monte Carlo projects that I have. There are two Monte Carlo projects. And I broke that, that news last night that I'm doing a second Monte Carlo before I say I'm building something for the track. So now I'm, I'm, I've already said, man, I'm, I'm already going to buy the uh, the 84 Monte Carlo. Um, probably about two months from now, finished with paint and some other details. About two months I had that. And um, around April time frame, I'm going to uh, start building a car with my bro, SS Life, up in um, Maryland. And um, that's going to be a Monte Carlo also. I think I think we're going to go for a, a 87 Monte Carlo. I think that's the body that we're looking to, to find and, and, and um, build off of that platform. But I told him, I said, man, I'm trying to really do something on the track, man. So, you know, I definitely need to be uh, faster than all the Hellcats. You know what I mean? Make me faster than all them. Let's do that. Make me competitive, man, in the quarter mile, man. That's that's what I want. That's the setup that I want. And that's, that's what I'm going to get. So uh, I'm excited about that. I'm super excited about that, man. Adding, adding another car to the garage. You know what I mean? So this first one, you know, she definitely got to be pretty. The other one going to be pretty too, man. Don't get me wrong. But I'm, I'm really focusing more on the, the other Monte Carlo for the track. This one, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see you in traffic. You know what I mean? You know, it's already going to be a scat pack eater. It's already a scat pack eater now. But um, we're going we're gonna to improve upon that as, as we see fit, man. And I, I'm looking forward to it, man definitely looking forward to it as my boy uh rubik's always always say man uh no cap no clickbait man what you see is what you get oh man say are you going two guns you going y'all must be talking about the um the um the youtubers call out april 10th man in dallas i will be there and i need y'all to be there or be square man don't miss that youtuber call out event man for real, don't don't miss that. Don't miss that YouTuber call out event, man. I missed the first one, but I did not miss the one in Memphis, and I'm so glad I didn't, cause literally, and we're just speaking from a YouTube perspective, man. Going to an event like that and putting in work, you're gonna grow. You are gonna grow. Going to an event like that and putting in work. Your channel is going to grow without a shadow of a doubt. Go to the event, put in that work, and then post the event, put in that work. The channel gonna grow. The channel's gonna grow. And that's my goal, man, to grow, to grow this channel, you know, and make it be everything that it's supposed to be, man. We should be reaching millions of people, man. We should have a million people in the live right now going crazy man and everybody inspiring each other man everybody's getting inspired you know everybody's dropping nuggets you know what i'm saying in the, in the chat that's how it's supposed to go because you know this is a positive place man and the world is so 
dark right now, man. Reconnect. Reconnect. I'll be back connected. All right. I think we had a little slight disruption. But what I was saying was I believe that, you know, positive sales. I know they say sex, violence, and all that stuff sells, man, and controversy sells. I believe that, man, living a positive life sells too, man. I think people want to see that. I think people want to see people winning. I think people want to see a blueprint that saved them time. I wasn't born yesterday. I ain't no spring chicken. So you can follow me just by watching without even asking a question, man. Okay, this dude loyal to his, to his lady. This dude loyal to his two daughters, man. This dude living in a pretty dope looking neighborhood, man. He's doing all right, man. This dude is always positive, man. Yo, let me tap in. So I'm believing, and I say this a lot, man, that there's a whole new wave of YouTubers, man. And we're on the way. We're like the cavalry, man. The whole new wave of YouTubers, man, with character, with integrity, you know what I'm saying? That's clean. You know what I mean? Like you can play our videos in front of your mama, in front of your daddy, in front of your kids. You know, something that your kids can watch. Cause yeah, the, what Whitney Houston said, the children are the future, man. And we don't need them hearing certain things. So you, you need to have places that you can go. Cause you don't want to watch cartoons all day. You know what I mean? You should be able to watch something that you enjoy and that your kids can hear too. E Vapors, I'm right here for you, man. Turn me on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And as, and as we vlog more, and you know, you see my family more in the vlogs, you know, it might be something that, you know, you and the family want to pull up and let's, let's watch E Vapors, man. You know, I believe that's what it's going to be. It's going to get to that point, man. That's what people are doing, man. Families are pulling up on the TV. Man, we want to see E Vapors, man. Did E Vapors drop a new vlog today? What in the world is E Vapors doing now? Where in the world is Waldo? What in the world is E Vapors doing today? Which one of his daughters is he driving crazy today? You know what I'm saying? What did he tell his wife today? What car is E Vapors buying today? What car is he modifying today? What car is E Vapors selling today? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where is E Vapors flying? Flying to today. Where? Is he vapors in LA for a week? Is he down in Florida for a week? Is he in Dallas, Texas? Is he vapors back in Memphis with his Brody L Boogie man making something cinematic, something classic? Yeah. All the answers are, as New York would say, yes. All the answers are yes, man, to all the above. So, man, I need y'all to stay locked in, man. I need y'all to stay motivated, man. And I need y'all to motivate each other, man. What car is he doing a giveaway for today? What car is E-Vapors giving away today? How much cash? I like that, Big Chief. How much cash is E-Vapors giving away today? I want it to be so unbelievable, man. Like, there's no way this can't... It's going to be so unbelievable, right? That people are going to say, it's got to be fake. There's no way it's fake. There's no way he's giving away money and cars like that. It's fake, y'all. Y'all gonna see the folk in the comments talking about, man, this ain't real. And then I want y'all to respectfully go in on them comments and say, ah, uh, you must be new. They was been doing it. Been giving. Been donating. Been dropping money in folks' super chats. Been sending cash app to folk with no strings attached. Been doing it. Not for not for no credit, just because that's who I am, man. And people need to know so they can be motivated to do the same thing, man. And you know, and, and you know, my wife know this, man. My my goals are like, man, like I'm in traffic right now. And you know, if I saw somebody at a bus stop, my, my goals in life ought to be able to pull over Give them whatever they need. You need a car? You need a car? I'm talking about being able to give them a car. And I still have this uh, um, this dream, this vision of, um, you know how they have like, um, and it don't have to be an 18-wheeler. It could be a dually pulling, you know, a car hauler with like, you know, six cars, seven cars or eight cars on it. You know, the two-level joint. 
and I give away them cars. I pull up on folk. I'm talking about we ride around, you know, with the truck now. All the paperwork titles and everything, you know, in the glove box. And like, man, we're going to give away these cars today. Or oh, between today and tomorrow, man, we're going to give away all these cars on this truck. I'm just talking about we're just going to just take a ride. With no names in mind, man. We're just going to ride through the city, man. And go through some of the areas that, you know, people live uh, that are in a certain um, financial bracket, generally. And, man, we're going we, we're gonna to give away these cars, man. We're going to give away these cars and we're going to give away money. That's what I, I want to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do those type of things, man. Just pull up on folk, man. And before I got the I-8, and I thank God that I was able to do it, and, I'm, and I'll, I'll do it again when I get the I-8 back. But I remember before I even got the I-8, just having these visions of, you know, seeing people at the bus stop, man, and just pulling over and hopping out. And, and blessing them and walking away and i i remember this one one situation man um you know again the i is a cool weird looking car and um i was at a stoplight it was a bus stop on my right and um i saw this look like a young couple or whatever um with a kid and um i pulled over the gas station parking lot was behind the bus stop so i literally pulled over right in there you know and i, and I hopped out the car and and um you know, they was looking at the car like oh man you know that, that's crazy what is that and um, I just walked up to him. I said, hey, man, God, God wanted me to bless y'all. And um, I handed him something, and I, and I walked off. You know, that's it. Just that simple, man. I ain't say my name. I ain't, I ain't nothing. I just, I felt at that time, man, bless them and keep it moving. You know? And, and those type of things excite me, man. Like, a new pair of shoes don't excite me. And, you know, I, I like shoes just like anybody else, man. A new car don't excite me like that you know what i'm saying because i've told my story man i've only had um four cars five cars my whole life man you know i've never traded a car in so i don't even be on cars like that man i generally i generally only have one car at a time it's only been two times in my life where i've had two cars at the same time um like i had my 350z and my eclipse at the same time, until I um, gave the Eclipse away. Um, I had my Camaro and my I-8 at the same time until I um, sold my Camaro. So I've only had two cars at the same time twice in life. You know what I mean? So I, I just never been, I just never been like that, man, to have a bunch of cars or buy a car, trade it in, or have, you know, three, four, five cars. But, um. It's, it's different now though I literally Since my car was in the shop I'm like Eric You act like you can't get another car and, But I hadn't even I, I was still in that mode of Man I buy one car and drive the one car Pay it off And then just drive it I just never Just never been in a mode of multiple cars Or buy a car Trade it in a year later I just never been in that mode I just never done it I've never done it before so, But now It's like It's go time now man you know, like I was selling, I don't know what that was. I said, man, you know, I give, 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 and I'm always gonna give. I said, but man, I'm in my, I'm in a getting season, man. It's my time to get. I get, and I'm as I'm getting, I'm still giving. You feel me? It's getting season. Put that on the shirt, somebody. It's getting season. You've been giving. You've been pouring. Look, you done bought every, and this is my life story. I done bought everybody a book. I done bought everybody a T-shirt that started a clothing line. Because everybody started a clothing line. I, I, I know a million people that started a clothing line. So I done bought everybody a book. I done bought everybody a clothing line. I done bought everybody a new restaurant, new food endeavor. I've done it. Whatever business you're in, I've bought it. I'm just that type of dude, man. My, my folk do something. I, I, don't even, I, ain't even gotta, I don't even want the book. I don't even want the, the, uh, the CD. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might not be my thing. That don't mean I can't buy it and, and support, you know, a friend of mine from the heart. Yeah, man. But it's getting season, y'all. Who else in a getting season, man? You been giving, giving, giving. Now it's time for you to get, get, get. Getting season, baby. Getting season, man. We in it. I'm in it. You in it. And we we gonna get. 
Let me change my point of view for y'all, man. We out here on the um, recycle season, L Boogie. Big Chief, that's my favorite position. We out here rolling, man. Out here in the, in the three series, loaner car. I need to do a review on this car while I have it. I didn't do a review on the two series. I think I had it so long, I got mad with it. And was just, you know, just not not vibing with it because, you know, my car was gone so long. I, ain't, I don't wanna do no review on that car. But on this 330i, man, I think I might do a review on it, man. So that way it's out there in case somebody wanna, um, you know, wanna see it. But it's getting season. It's get, get, get. We about to get, y'all. And I want y'all alone for the ride, man. Like, real talk, man. I want y'all alone for the ride, man. And when I get my Lamborghini, I want y'all right there with me. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all right there with me, man. I, I would love to have, you know, enough advance notice, man, when I get that Lamborghini, man, to be like, yo, I'm going to go pick up my Lamborghini on such and such day in such and such city. You know, who come into town? Man, I will come, but I, I can't afford a flight. Man, I'll pay for your flight. Just get here. I'll pay for your flight to the dealership, to town, and for a hotel for you to spend the night, and for your uh, taxi, Uber, money, ride back to the uh, airport. But man, it would be dope, man. I bought the joint, man, and y'all could meet me at the dealership, man. That type of stuff, man. El Boogie said, buffet season, all you can eat. I like that. Cat Loco in here. Robert King, I see you. Robert Smith. I'm at the light, obviously. Robert Smith. I seen New York in here. I seen Joanne Jones. And I said, Big Chief. Big Fire Truck. Who else is in here? I'm scrolling back. Just scrolling back, man. Yeah, Lefty. Lefty Two Guns. Michael Corleone, I see you. Yeah, Zay was in here. Zay TRD. Robel. Shane. Yeah, New York. Real New York said Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield just signed a contract to fight. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be crazy. I think I called everybody, all the names, man. Everybody that was in the live, man. I definitely appreciate y'all, man. Definitely appreciate y'all. Breathe life into it. That's what Big Chief just said. I'm driving now, so I'm gonna look straight ahead. I gotta um, stop over here at um, Joseph A. Bank. Y'all know what that is. So I got two stops I got to make. I'm glad I just said that I almost missed a stop. So I got to go to Joseph A. Bank, pick up something. Then I got to run to um, where y'all live at. Where y'all live at, do y'all have like uh, Marshalls and TJ Maxx and like Ross? Y'all got them? Work motivation. I see you in here. What's going on, man? I'm just trying to spread a little bit of motivation out to the people, man. That's all we're doing. Chess Homes. We got all that in ATL. Yeah, man. So I'm about to stop at Joseph A. Bank to um to get this suit. Um, but I the the dress shirts and stuff, they be charging too much for the dress shirts. So it's like, man, you can go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross and get you a dress shirt um instead of paying $60 for uh, a dress shirt and you only gonna see the neck part the collar and everything you know what i'm saying so it's like why even spend that kind of money on a dress shirt when you can just um when you can go to um tj maxx or marshall's man and get you a dress shirt name brand dress shirt too where you going where the, you ain't got nowhere to go <laughs> you right man i don't have nowhere to go but you know, I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman, so you know, I got I got to keep my business, my business um, attire to a certain level. You know what I mean? And um, they got some really good, uh, they got some really good sales going on right now, Chess. But Chess, I brought your name up earlier, man. I was saying um, since I'm taking over the um, Daily Grind Family Channel, and I'm going to be doing a lot of interviews with business owners. And um, I definitely want to interview you on some whole real estate and talking about the um, a separate interview 
with the uh, day trading and you know just some basic you know how to how to use robin hood type stuff man yeah all right big she said you look good you feel good those are facts i mean chess home said i'm in bro count me in of course as soon as i pull up somebody else pull up look at these, these brothers going in here we need a bunch of folk going in here they going in there to get their jiggy on I'm about to go in here and do the same thing, man. So yeah, we going to Joseph A. Bank because they got uh they got like the the normal suits that be like three hundred dollars. They got them for uh, eighty nine dollars. They got them for eighty nine dollars, man. So so I gotta I gotta take advantage of that, man. Gotta take advantage of eighty nine dollar suit. Hot now it's not an eighty nine dollar suit quality. The price is down to eighty nine, man. On some Black Friday Cyber Monday type stuff. Um, what Big Chief said, you can't fix ugly though. That's my problem. Man, we all are dealt cards. You know what I mean? We play the cards that are in our hand, man. And you just accentuate those cards, man. You keep living life, man. You keep that confidence. You know, that's, it's all subject. Looks are subjective anyway, man. It's what people, that's, that's what I think. That's what I think, man. You keep, I used to, I'm just playing. I feel you, bro. I feel you, man. I tell you what is attractive, success. And I don't care what level of success, when you're successful and, and you're confident, man, that right there is attractive. But uh, I ain't worrying about all that stuff because as long as my wife like what I got going on, I like it too. You know what I mean? That's what matters. But in, in business, though, you know, depending on what circles you're in, you know, you want to make sure you dress a certain kind of way. Salute to all the bros and sisters in the live. For sure, man. Yeah, big salute. Big salute. We out here, we out here getting it done today. And hopefully, man, everybody um is staying motivated. And that's again, that's why I even started this live, man, because um I wanted to make sure everybody was um, you know, staying up, you know, not getting down. I want to get some dress up. What you say, Robert? I want to get some dress up outfit. I own two button, button up shirts. Hey, Robert, man, I tell you, when when it, when you when you ready to buy a suit, holla at me. I'll let you know where to buy it. Cause most of the places that I that I shop, well, well most, it's really two places, man. I, I mess with Men's Warehouse and um, Joseph A. Bank. That's it. Men's Warehouse, Joseph A. Bank. That's it. I might well take y'all inside with me, man. Y'all want to go inside with me, man? Oh, I, oh, I see y'all later. <laughs> what y'all want to do? Y'all want to go inside Joseph A. Bank? Need to vlog in the store. L Boogie just said need to vlog in the store. Uh, all right. I, I'm, I think I'm going to put y'all on the gimbal and everything, man. I'm going to go ahead and put y'all on the gimbal and everything. Now, nah, if I put y'all on the gimbal... They, they might be like, what are you doing? Yeah, I think if I if I use the gimbal, if I put y'all on the gimbal, they might, folk, I mean, not that, you know, it ain't nothing illegal you can record, but folk might start acting different. But if I just hold the phone, they don't know if it's recording or not. What y'all think, gimbal or no gimbal? Discreet, non-discreet, what y'all think? Gimbal or no gimbal? And we're gonna go with it. Gimbal or no gimbal? Chess Holmes at Big Chief. All hope all is well, bro. Robert, I want to start dressing up more. Oh, you need one of these, Joanne? I got a discount link in my um in most of the description of my videos. I got a discount link for this one um, from Amazon. Um, I think it was like one thirty nine. Somebody said always gimbal. Yes, sir. I'm on a gimbal always. What Chess Holmes said. All right, well, shoot, we're going to go ahead and put the gimbal on then. Let's cut the I-8 off. I-8, Lord, did y'all hear that? El Boogie said, just use the phone. Uh-oh, we got one gimbal, we got one just use the phone. Uh-oh, it's split vote. Yeah, yeah, Joanne, um, if, you, if you catch one of my videos um, on my video page, there's a link to, like, technology or whatever. Um... I got some discount links for different products that I use, like my drone, and um, it goes to my Amazon store, and they're on Amazon, and um, I think it's like 139, 140 or something like that. 
This is the Osmo 3. And they made a new one, but the only difference between the new one and this one is like magnetic right here. I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth paying more. What's going on, Ma? I see you in here. Yep, yep. I hear that. Appreciate it. So yeah, let me go on, on in, in the store. And actually, y'all, the, the the this particular um store or this particular um trip to this store. Um, a friend of mine, again, that I, that I work with doing my consulting, um, got a relative that, uh, that passed and, um, we're going to, um, buy the suit from here. So this, this is my main store. El Boogie said Motor Street. This is my main store that I go to, Joseph A. Bank, you know, to buy my suits. But today it's literally just for my friend. Um, you know, he was, he was a, a little busy. So I, I left early from doing the consulting. Um, to come down here and um, pick the suit up for his uncle that passed. So I'm going to go ahead and get the suit. And I'm still going to go to the other store to get the shirt and the tie. Because um, even for myself, man, I never believe in spending those $75 for a... I wear bow ties. I ne okay, phone, no trouble on it. Just phone? Okay. Robert, I have a $6 tripod from Walmart. The gimbal always yeah, the gimbal does always create conversation. People think a movie being shot. You got that right. I absolutely agree with you. I'm just gonna take the phone in there. I'm gonna be a little extra discreet, man. So y'all, y'all work with me. Y'all work with me. So yeah, so this um this suit right here is is for uh, my friend's uncle. So we're gonna get that for him. Man, I appreciate y'all phone it is. Thank you, Chess Holmes. Chess Holmes. He went on ahead and said, you know what? Go on in there with the phone. I ain't even going to be mad with you. He said, I'm not going to unsubscribe from your channel because you didn't take my suggestion. Thank you, Chess Holmes. That's mighty adultish of you, sir. I probably would have unsubscribed if you wouldn't have taken my suggestion. Okay? But here we go. Loan a car. Loan a car. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm Eric. Did I talked to you on the phone earlier? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for that uh, 40 regular blue suit. You talked to Ed or Eddie? Ed. Hey. Okay, it, 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 it's all good. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, I was telling him I saw... Um, These are all my blues. Yeah, I was. I saw one online for um, eighty nine. So I'm looking for one you have around that same price. But, um, it's for a funeral for uh, the person that that deceased. So I just. You want a blue or a black? Blue. Okay. Yeah, it's not for a person going. It's the person that's in the coffin. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, that was some good prices online. I was trying not to order one. Solid blue. Something solid would be would be good. I think. Solid. Yeah, if you have it or something close to that, 40 regular. Slim fit, I like them slim fit joints. I like slim fit. That's a good price right there, two for 65. Yeah, 
if I was telling him I saw something online for 89, so I just said, I want. Oh, I know what you're yeah, like, do you have a blue suit around $89 is what I'm looking for. Um, it was like 30, no, nah, I was at work. It was like a, I don't think that one was in here when I called earlier. It was like 37B or, I can't remember what the letters were. But I was just, I don't know, it was on online. I think so. Okay. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was blue, yeah. I know, right? Yeah, I was like, yeah, it was navy blue, yeah. Yeah, because I was just trying to, yeah, because I was trying to, yeah, yeah, but I, I just, I like that, that's a good number, around $89, yeah, it's the same dude, too, <laughs> yeah, you know your stuff, yeah, you know your stuff, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not for me. Oh, yeah. It's uh, for uh, uh, a funeral, somebody already deceased. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm just picking up the... Mm -hmm. So you got one in that price range, too? This is, but all I registered are offline. I can't even get in right Oh, you know what that means, don't you? It means I have to charge you enough to cover what it, the most it could possibly be. Oh, ain't no problem. Which... <laughs> that's I was thinking something different, though. I know. Oh, that's what it means. <laughs> then I thought as a business owner, no, that's not what that means. It means we can figure out something. We can ring it up on the side and something. Cash? Ooh, I, mean, I can go get some cash. If I have to, I can run to my bank, Old Navy, and get some cash. This one's on sale for eating. Perfect. Yeah, I got a 44 regular. No, 40. 40. 40. 40. Yeah, 4 zero. Yeah. Probably the mask. I had I need to see myself. What y'all somebody in here? See if I had, if we had the gimbal, we wouldn't be looking at the countertop right now. Chess Holmes, why you say that, man? You right. Let me prop y'all up somewhere. Let me prop y'all up somewhere. Now, if I had that gimbal up, man, it would have been like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Folks start acting, start acting different and stuff like that. So I just want them to be as natural and regular as uh as they can be belts man i can get this same belt at, at stein mart for about twenty dollars tj maxx two for 69 no old navy sweaters We really vlogging today, man. We really out and about vlogging. I feel like I'm Chess Holmes right now. Going, are we ready? All right, cool. Oh, no, that'll be it. We good. So I got the, the 40. Yeah. 37 pants, which are probably big. I'm sure they'll. But yeah, that, it's better big than small. Yeah. And they can just tuck yeah. them in in the back. Mm -hmm. And the pants are unfinished. And I still yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Credit card? Yep, credit card.
Yeah, we got them started. Pop the clutch. Hey, anytime, brother. Hey, man, you never know, man. You never know when somebody needs some help. Look, that could be, that could be that could be me somewhere. And I, you know, I can't pop it and push it at the same time. Can't pop it and push it. Can't do both. This lady, all right? You okay? Yeah, yeah, because I'm in a loaner car. I normally would have some jumper cables with me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you for stopping, though. Yes, ma'am. Beautiful Jeep. Oh, thank you. It has its plugs, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> have a good one. Thank you. Uh. Oh, man. This is the second person. This cold. Y'all know what it is, man. This cold weather don't play with them batteries, man. This cold weather and them batteries. Oh, let me read y'all comments right quick. Let me pull over right quick, man. Let me see what y'all talking about in there, man. Oh, the lady said her, I don't know if y'all can hear her. The lady said her husband was uh, on the way with some jumper cables. And it's a real nice area right here um, with the grocery store. So she should be all right, man. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't no problems over this way. Let me see. Don't mind me always messing with people. Joanne, you good? Y'all talking about no limit? Oh, I just did that two days ago. Push start an old man's car. Uh, my mom said, what a good guy. Awesome, son. That's them Celicas for you. Hey, I know about them Celicas. Robert said, saving people. LOL, man. LOL, big chief. Joanne, you a good guy. Hey, man, thank you, Joanne. I tried, man. You know, it's no cap. It's no cap. We just happen to be live. I'm glad I stayed live with y'all, man. I'm glad I stayed live with y'all, man. Good Samaritan. Hey, no doubt, no doubt, man. It's all love. That's all I do. We just love, love on folk, man. I don't have time for nothing else. That's it. So, now I could have bought the shirt in Joseph A. Bank for two reasons. They generally charge too much for dress shirts in there. You know what I mean? And, um... I get my dress shirts from usually uh, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or, you know, a department store like Belk or somebody that's, you know, got a table with something on sale, especially my white shirts. Because if I got on my vest and my jacket, I don't need to spend $80. I just refuse to do that. I just refuse to spend $80, $75 on a white dress shirt when I can get a quality dress shirt consistently $20, $25, $30, you know, depending on what's going on. All right. Yeah, man. And it feel pretty good outside, man. It's uh, pretty chill little weather, man. It's all right out there. It says uh, 51, but uh, with the sun out, I'd say it feel like about 55. And I think it feel like 60 after uh, pu pushing the car. <laughs> I done got me some free exercise in now. You know what I'm saying? I never jumped, push started a car, popped the clutch on a car, uh, rolling backwards. We've always been behind the car, pushing it going forward. But the way he was on the hill, it was just easier. Um, oh, sorry. Well, actually, I had to ride away. I was there first. I never done that before with the car going backwards. But that thing started right up. Started right up, man. But it is cold weather. Check your battery. This cold weather is not playing with you. Okay. I was about to say they closed down. That's AC Moore that closed down. That's like a craft store. If y'all ever um been to AC Moore, it's like a craft store. I didn't even know they were closed down. But um, we rolling up on, we rolling up on TJ Maxx now. Going here and get that white dress shirt. You know what I mean? white dress shirt and maybe a blue tie you know bluish blue something in it and i don't know about y'all man i don't care if it's a loaner car or my car i can't park right up on folk man they'll tell you mess up 
and we won't care, won't even leave you a note. So I usually find me an end cap space, like I just did. Find me a little end cap, and I go over a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So nobody's gonna park on that side, on this side, and I'm so far away from the car space on that side, we should good. We'll find out. I don't want door dings in my car or the loaner car, neither car. We're gonna go discreet again. We're gonna go discreet again, if y'all don't mind. Let me see if y'all got any comments in. Man, Zay sent that cold, icky weather over here now. Look, man, Zay, keep, see you later, Ma. Uh, Zay, keep that dog on cold weather where you at, all right? Keep that cold weather where you at, brother. Let's go POV. Y'all see the little the little 3 Series, 330i? It ain't bad, man. It's a nice little, little nice little loaner car junk. Nice little loaner car junk. But y'all see what I mean by I try to park over some, you know, to give you plenty of space on this side. So if you park over here and you still hit the door, something wrong with you. Look at all this space. There's no way you can park here and then still swing your door. I mean, there is a way, but let's not do that. So y'all see number six, demonstration car from Valley. All right, y'all, let's, let's get it. TJ Maxx, man. It's tight. This time, man, y'all can see what's going on. Appreciate y'all rolling out with me today, man. Ain't no telling what you're gonna get on the live, man. You're gonna, you gonna always get something. Y'all didn't know y'all was gonna be going shopping today for a suit and tie. Get me some. See what they got. All right, doing good. Uh -huh.
What's going on, people? Got tired, man, but I don't see the shirt. I don't see the shirt, man. They used to have a section with uh, with shirts already in the plastic, you know, where you can pick the shirt up by the neck size and, and length, you know, like a 16, 32, 33, or 16, 34, 35. I don't see that. So I might just have to run to the other joint. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do. That line look kind of long, so I don't even know if I'm gonna get in line for it. stuff though. Let me show y'all. I see some Duke Blue Devil stuff though. That junk too. This I'm trying to come up. Oh, there's no way this is sixteen dollars. This sixteen dollars. Look, this junk sixteen dollars right here, and it's normally eighty five dollars junk. I have a deal on the table for that contract. Just wrote, you got a deal. Now I got to get in line and get this right here. I'm a Duke man. I got to have that. I'm going to get you the t-shirt too. I'd rather have a 
medium jump, to be honest. So if that's too big, I might even walk with it. It feel kind of big. Yeah, that large feel kind of big. Ain't no medium jump over here, man. Yeah, that's large jump. Good luck with that, sir. I mean, the blue have old green back. Look at you. I have the, I'm from Durham, North Carolina. Blue Devils, we rock. We rock real strong, man. We from Durham. This is what we don't mess with. I think we good. Is that large too? How, let me see what that large feel like. You know what, $12. If it don't fit, we'll give away. All right, so mission is half accomplished. We got the tie. Oh man, look at this line. Man, this line is long, man. I might have to, I'm have to get off this live. I can't hold, I can't hold y'all no line. This line look like it's gonna be. Let me show y'all. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Appreciate it. Yeah, let me see what y'all got in here. Comments. No cap. I wouldn't mind flipping houses. My bad, you just keeping the fam entertained while you shopping, bro. If I can get someone off out there nine to five, always trying to help. Thank you, Chess. Appreciate it, man. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and get y'all out of here, man. I appreciate y'all sticking around. I'm glad we was able to help somebody in the parking lot today, man. I ain't pushed the car in a long time, man. But um, I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay positive, man. Stay motivated, man. Stay blessed. No stress.